joined here by Kylie Lynn. And Kylie, we appreciate you joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Hey, so far, you know, we're already 12 games into the season. How does it feel to think of, A, we're already 12 games in, and, B, what you're kind of seeing from the team so far? You know, we had a big win over Texas A&M Kingsville, you know, who was the mm-hmm. national runner-up last year, came close in a lot of others. So kind of what you're seeing out there so far from this team. I feel like it's been super good. We've had really good team chemistry this year. We're all working hard together. We all want to make it to regionals again because that was, like, the best experience we've probably all ever had. I feel like everyone's in new positions. We lost a lot of um, seniors, so we're all trying to work hard to get back to comfortable. You know, when you look at, uh, thinking back to last year, you know, how neat was it, you know, each year you're trying to push, of course, to get to the GNACs, but then Mm -hmm. last year you guys broke through, got to regionals, got 33 wins, you know, you're one game short of getting out to super regionals. I mean, how awesome was that for, you know, confidence booster and to kind of set the bar for future years? Yeah, I feel like um, that made everyone want to get to regionals again. Like, it was a very good experience, like I said, and yeah, we're always striving to get to regionals again. You know, when you think about, of course, we've had a couple of tournaments we've already played in, but how neat was it to have a home game? You know, early February home games usually yeah. don't happen out in Oregon, yeah. so how nice was it to open up with Eastern Oregon here in those home openers? Yeah, that was really nice. Like you said, we never had, we've never we never got to play in the fall at home because it's always been raining. So it was really nice to get to actually get out on the field and start working together as a team and getting some wins right off the bat. What have you kind of seen from your game, you know, going into your junior year now, you know, because you got to play right away as a freshman. Sometimes that doesn't always happen mm-hmm. for people. So, you know, how much did that help you get, you know, A, your progression as a freshman to mm-hmm. now B, as a junior? How do you feel kind of your games evolved? I feel like now playing the field and hitting because the past years I've just been the DH so having to focus on fielding and hitting instead of just hitting so it's kind of a bigger responsibility but I'm getting used to it and it's going pretty good so far. And off of that too how nice was it to play right away as a freshman because you know, sometimes that's a learning year a redshirt yeah. year so I mean how nice was it to be right involved in, yeah. in games right as your first year? Yeah it was crazy like having to take up that responsibility I thought I'd have like a year to like get the hang of it but just getting thrown right in there was kind of stressful, but I got the hang of it pretty good and pretty fast, so that was really a confidence boost for me. How much do you enjoy, you know, the teams we play out here? We go to a lot of tournaments. Mm-hmm. How neat is it to go to, you know, we go to Florida, we go yeah. down to Tucson, of course, you know, your yeah. home state, you go down there, and we play in, like, you know, the Tournament of Champions in California, yeah. and we go to Vegas. How neat is it to go to those places and see a lot of these great teams throughout the year? Yeah, it's really fun because we get to travel a lot. Most teams don't get to travel as much as us get to compete with other teams like that and it's really nice to see how other teams compete and like learn from that so it's good yeah, so it was fun for you to go to Tucson because, you know, you'd be in from Arizona. Yeah. I mean, just talk about what it was like to come to Woo and what was the draw to come to Woo and, you know, kind of what you've enjoyed the most about being here on campus. Yeah, it was great going back into the sun cause from the rain and stuff, but what dro- drove me to Woo was, like, um, I really wanted to get out of Arizona because I've been living there my whole life, and I came on my visit and just saw all the green, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I need to come here because you never see that. It's just cacti and dirt, so... It was really cool to see, like, the different nature and all that stuff, so. Yeah. And how about, too, you know, how nice is it? Like we said, you have a teammate, you know, Riley Tidwell, who also mm-hmm. is from your hometown. You guys played at different high schools, mm-hmm. but how nice is it to have a, you know, familiar face of somebody that you know from your hometown here? Yeah, it was, I got very excited when I heard she was coming because we never got to play with each other, but I always knew who she was, and we kind of went through the same, like, transition, so I was able to help her get through some of that stuff, which was nice because I didn't have that, but... Yeah, it was good to have someone from the same place as you. It's very helpful. And how about you for the sport of softball? Kind of what was the draw to softball for you, and what have you enjoyed the most about playing it? Um, well, I actually played um, soccer my whole life, and then I started playing softball when I was probably like 11, so I had kind of like a late start. I feel like softball and soccer were just such a different game, and softball was way more interesting to me. And it was more of like a competitive thing and team sport, and it was very... I was just drawn to it a lot more than soccer. So. All right, Kylie. Well, we really appreciate you joining us today. Yeah. Of course, best luck the rest of the season, and we'll be catching up with you soon. Yeah, thank you.